Of course, for Manchester United this weekend, it's Liverpool at Anfield. What a game that is going to be. Just a reminder, the difference between the two sides, 16 points as it stands. We're only 60 matches into the season. History will be made this weekend, whatever happens, because never in the Premier League era have Liverpool been such favourites going into a game with Manchester United. And this isn't a surprise, Stevie. No, it's not. Considering if you look at the Premier League table, uh, Liverpool are at the top for a reason, and Manchester United are floundering for a reason. And and it's not that the two sides have been coming into a, a derby like this with contrast and form. That's that's happened a lot. But before, you were always guaranteed that either United or Liverpool would have fight and desire, and they kick and spit and punch, and no matter what it took, the intensity just because of the, the, the size of this fixture. Yeah. I'm not so sure United have got that. They haven't shown it yet this season at all in any game whatsoever. In fact, most games, they end up being a couple of goals down before they start. You can't do that against Liverpool. And if they do, they'll get blown away. Now, we ask our ESPN FC Manchester United correspondent, Rob Dawson, uh, his <laughs> predicted 11. Uh, there's no Paul Pogba, Jules. We discussed this uh, yesterday. He doesn't deserve a place, does he, considering his net performances of late? I would, I would play him every single game. I think he's United best midfielder. I think he's one of the best players. If he, if he plays in the right way, if he's in the right state of mind to play, and you only get that from him if there's a good relationship between him and his manager. That's why he's done so well with France at the World Cup. That's why he did so well with Juventus in the past. But right now, there's no relationship between him and Mourinho. It, it cannot work if he stays like this. It's impossible for Paul Pogba to perform. It's impossible for Jose Mourinho right now to play but Paul Pogba. There's that, no that's way not going to get fixed. Nothing, a magic wand... Uh, 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 <laughs> A spell isn't going to suddenly be cast to fix this, Jules, over the next 48 hours. So he can't play then, surely, given what you just said. Oh, yeah, I agree with you. He's not going to start him. 100%. I mean, there's no... I don't think there's any debate. I think he should start every game, but he's not going to start on Sunday against Liverpool. There's no way Mourinho will play him. And Mourinho will go to Anfield with a very defensive lineup and game plan anyway, like he did in the last few seasons where they drew nil-nil every single time, where he parked one bus, two buses, three buses, four buses, <laughs> and Paul Pogba is useless in that sort of strategy. He's useless in that tactics. It's incredible, isn't it, Kay? Yeah. Well, where do you stand on Pogba? Would you play him? I week? always would play Pogba. Someone with that quality, you have to find a space for him. His ability to just spray the ball around, bring it down, he just adds that ability to circulate the ball and also penetrate down the centre. But the thing is, even if they do park the bus, do they have the defence to keep goals out? I mean, last season, they were able to stop goals, right? I think it was 1.6 goals against, or now it's 1.6. Last year was point eight. Now yeah. it's 0.8. They've let in 26 goals this season. They don't have the defence no. to park the bus. So it's the wrong tactics. But then again, Mourinho, he can come up with something. He's shown it before where he's able to come up with a game plan to try to nullify Liverpool's dangerous attack. But Mo Salah, let's talk about him. And, you know, I'm a <laughs> – let's talk about Mo Salah. I don't have to get around to that. I also got Pogba. <laughs> I just want to go to Salah. It's me. I mean, he's found his form. He's, he's confident. He's excited. He wants to play. Mm. Would you want to be Manchester United going up against a confident Salah? I want him celebrating more, though. I don't know what's going on at the moment. I don't like the just more looking off into the distance. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, Shaka, yeah? we'll get your prediction tomorrow. Okay. But I will get everyone else's predictions first, starting off with Jules. I go Liverpool every day, 2-0. Oh, same with a bit more enthusiasm, Jules. <laughs> it's not more enthusiasm. It's so obvious. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's 2-0, Liverpool. That's more enthusiasm. Out, yeah. yeah, I'll be cut for you, Jules. <laughs> 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. Ah, dear, right. <laughs> now, can Kate give a prediction without mentioning Salah? Mm. <laughs> I say 2-1. 2-1? Yeah, I'm going to say 2-1. United? Two one. Uh, no, Liverpool. Liverpool 2-1. I'll take that as well. 